Hello everybody and welcome to the February 2016 Gaming PC Builds of the Month. My name is Corey with NoobComputerBuild.com. Alright guys, I'm here this month with the February builds. Uh, like usual, we have the first three, the $600, $1,000, $1,500 and $1, builds um, that I do every month. Not a lot has changed since last month, but I like to do these videos every month anyhow. And for those of you just tuning in, welcome. Please subscribe, visit the site, noob <laughs> NoobComputerBuild.com. Well, I'm stumbling there. But uh, anyways, I want to give you guys a quick recap. I've been doing these builds for a while, as you can see on this webpage here, uh, for the guide for 2016. But if you scroll down on this page particularly, I've been doing these builds since 2011. So these builds of the month. And so you can see these builds have uh, been around for, I've been doing these for quite a while. So uh, if you want to keep up to date month to month and you're planning to build a build, uh, say half a year from now, I probably will still be doing these. So uh, just a quick little tidbit there for those of you uh, planning your new builds uh, now or in the future. So uh, please come visit me at noobcomputerbuild.com. But first, well, first and foremost, <laughs> uh, now let's get started with the builds. Uh, we'll start with a $1,500 build for February 2016. Uh, this month, again, we have the Intel Core i5-6600K processor, 253.99 right now. Uh, this build, before I go further, uh, it'll do um, anywhere from 1080p all the way up to 4K. Uh, ideally, you'll play at 2560 by 1440. You'll get 60 FPS, no problem, in most games on their highest settings. But you can also play into 4K. If you really want to get serious about 4K gameplay, though, I will uh, suggest doing either SLI or Crossfire with two graphics cards. Uh, that'll give you some serious, uh, <laughs> serious settings. You'll be able to pump up the games seriously at 4K, but you can play 4K with this build, just so you know. But you might need to scale the settings back just a bit. All right, now going further. So we have the i5-6600K processor with the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo CPU cooler. Uh, the motherboard, same as last month. This is the Gigabyte uh, Z170 uh, Gaming 5, 169.99. Uh, graphics card, we have the all-powerful uh, Gigabyte GTX 980 Ti Overclocked Edition one here, 629.99, uh, and then for the RAM we have a total of 16 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance uh, LPX RAM this month, the red kit, uh, two gigabyte sticks for 84.99, and the $1,500 build I do not include a hard drive, an HDD. Uh, but more specifically, there's an SSD. So, but this is only a Samsung 850 250 gigabyte SSD for 82.99. If you want to get the 500 gig version, it's a little more. Uh, or you can also get uh, a one terabyte HDD if you want, for example, for about 50 bucks. And you can use that as your storage device if you need more storage right off the bat. For the power supply, we have the EVGA Supernova 750 G2, a fantastic, efficient. Power supply, $99.99. Uh, I do uh, also like to note if you do go SLI Crossfire or you want that upgrade potential for the future, I will suggest going with a minimum of 850 watts. Just a note though. Uh, the computer case is a brand new one. Uh, it's a new release, the Corsair Carbide Clear 400C uh, mid-tower, and it comes out at 109.31. And it's been well reviewed. It has good airflow, and you have this really cool side panel that's easy to take off and uh, gives you this full width kind of window. It's actually a really nice case. Uh, the price for this uh, estimated comes out to right now about 1460 so a little under budget, which gives you some room for upgrades or for saving a little on the $1,500 build. Uh, for those of you that want some upgrade ideas for the future or now, if you have a little more to spend, you could bump it up to an i7, such as i7 6700K, $412.98. Could go with another GTX 980 Ti graphics card and put it in SLI. Like I said, go with an 850 watt power supply if you're going to do that. So the, right now, the the same one as listed above, but the 850 watt version, the EVGA Supernova 850G2, uh, goes for $119.99. You could also change up the CPU cooler, go with a liquid cooler such as this Corsair Hydro Series H100 iGTX 102.88 or like I said if you want more storage space, uh, this is a really really good SSD. Uh, this is a 1TB SanDisk Extreme Pro and it is like you can see it's quite expensive, $369.99. Alright, now let's do the $1000 gaming PC build. 
So this build is for those of you that you can max out any game at 1080p, no problem, max settings, and as well play on higher settings into 2560 by 1400 depending on uh, the game that you play. Uh, but like I said, always say, before you buy a build, if you have a few games in mind, look up some benchmarks and you'll have a good idea of what to expect uh, with certain graphics cards and, and processor combinations. All right, the processor for this one is the Intel Core i5 6600K 253.99, and just like the $1,500 build paired with a Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo Cooler 2944, uh, the motherboard is the scaled down version of the one of the $1,500 build is the Gigabyte uh, Z170 Gaming 3 motherboard 149.99. Uh, for the graphics cards, uh, for a few months now, I've kind of suggested two cards. Not to get to, but one or the other, because they both perform similarly. But I'll add a note. So uh, the Zotac uh, GeForce GTX 970 is one choice for $299.99 right now. And the alternative card being this XFX R9 390 for $309.99. So about nine bucks more, uh, or 10 bucks more. Um, my suggestion uh, would be to look up the benchmarks for the games that you play with these two particular cards and go with what your gut tells you. or uh, just as a general rule of thumb, go with the GTX 970 if you only plan on doing 1080p, and then go with the R9 390 if you plan on going into 1440p. So that, that's kind of a general rule of thumb. I'll leave it up to you otherwise. Uh, RAM, Crucial Ballistic Sport 8 gigabyte kit, 4599. Uh, DDR4 RAM. Uh, for the, there's two choices for the hard drive. So I kind of put both of these in because the SSD is not included in the base build price, but it is for a little more money you can get it and have a faster loading speeds and and boot times if you want to go and you don't need the storage right off the bat but right here we go is the c8 one terabyte hdd uh 49.99 is the one in the build price or likewise or and or you can get a both uh this uh samsung 850 evos 250 gigabyte ssd 82.99 power supply EVG, <laughs> evga supernova 650 g1 79.99 it's fully modular, uh, and the computer case, this is a newer case, came out uh, just a couple, few months ago. The Silverstone, uh, <laughs> Silverstone, uh, I think it's called the Raven uh, RVX-01BR. Uh, it's It comes in a windowed version as well. It's, it's kind of a scaled down version of the previous generation of this case, and it has that 90 degree motherboard rotation, which is kind of unique to this line of cases by Silverstone. And this, this build comes out to $984.37 right now. For those that want, here there's the Silverstone Raven RV01, sorry. Uh, it, and it's kind of, it comes in different colors as well. I believe it's blue, green, purple, blue and green for sure. Uh, but, and the red is the main one um, that you can see there. So it's a pretty unique looking case. Um, the 1000, <clears throat> some alternatives for this build, you could bump up or add a, an SSD, because it's not included in the base build, but I include it here as well, 8161. Uh, you can crossfire or SLI your graphics cards in the future if you want more power then. You just need to buy another either, depending which one you go with, an R9 390 or a GTX 970. Um, you can get more graphics power right now by instead going with a single R9 390X. Uh, that's if you're serious about doing 1440p, because this thing will max out any game at 1440p with high FPS, no problem. But this card will cost $399.99. Go with a liquid cooler, which is the, such as this Corsair Hydro Series H80 IGT, which is a great uh, little, <laughs> it's kind of the smaller, not the smaller version, but the single fan version of the H100i uh, GTX that I mentioned above for $89.99. And now for the $600 build, which has been running strong for months and months and months, but this build is for any general 1080p gamer. Uh, this game will play, this build will play most games pretty well at 1080p. Uh, and the more extreme games, you might need to scale back just a little bit. But this is kind of the go-to for any any kind of new builders or just any casual gamer, I would say. So starting off with the processor with the AMD FX 8320 8-core processor. It's unlocked, it can be overclocked, 135.99. Motherboard, we have the Asus M5A97R2. Uh, $93.99. This you can find this for a little cheaper, so it just went up a little bit this month, but you can get it a little cheaper than that. Uh, the graphics card we have is the FX XFX 
R9 380, 179.99, great card for the price. Uh, RAM, 8GB Kata Crucial Ballistic Sport, DDR3 RAM, 3749, hard drive, 1TB Seagate Barracuda, 4718, power supply, EVGA 600B1, 39.99, and then the case being the this Cooler Master Elite 431 Plus, uh, 5804. So overall, this bill comes out to just a little over budget, $619.30. Like I said, you can get the motherboard for a little cheaper, so it should be $600 on the dot right now at the beginning of the month. Um, and then for the upgrade suggestions for this particular build, you could get a liquid CPU cooler if you're kind of serious about overclocking. This one's pretty cheap. Uh, $59.86, this Corsair Hydro Series H55. Or you could also get the Cooler Master Hyper 212 Evo, uh, sorry, not liquid, <laughs> air cooler $29.99, which is also in the $1,000 and the $1,500 builds. Uh, better graphics card, you can go with an R9380X, such as a Sapphire Radeon R9380X for $249.99. You can get a better motherboard for kind of better overclocking results, such as Gigabyte GA990FXA UD5 uh, for $146.99. Or get a boot drive. So this is a smaller one, 20 gigabyte SSD, same ones as the ones in the builds above, but the smaller version, and it's $67.99. That kind of does it for the three builds this month. If you have any questions, please leave a comment. I will reply. Or visit the site here at noobcomputerbuild.com. Leave a comment in the comment section. I usually get back to everybody. Um, and it's it's good for helping everyone out. Have some suggestions, throw them out there, need some help, ask a question, uh, whatever it is come on by. Um, as per usual, all the hardware is linked in the description for each three of these builds. And then as well, uh, there's an article on the website for those that are looking for peripherals such as mice, keyboards, monitors, operating systems, whether they be Windows 7, 8, or 10. Um, but anyways, th that there's an article here on the site for that as well, which I have those into three categories as well for the mice, keyboards, and monitors. But anyway, stop by noobcomputerbuild.com. And until next month, good luck.